So I was listening to a Zach Hubbard's TFR radio show, The Gematria Effect, when the topic of misspelled words came up briefly. Frequent guest on the show, Rambo, was presenting a decode involving San Francisco. He showed a Gematria value that helped support his decode, but then Zach stopped him. He said, is this an alternative spelling of San Francisco? I've never seen it spelt that way before. I mean, you could sound it out that way to make sense, but that's not how it was normally spelt. Rambo laughed. He seemed embarrassed, and he said he made a mistake, but then he said something along the lines of this. He said, Sometimes when you spell out words just as they sound, rather than how they're typically spelled, the gematria values line up perfectly. And I gotta say, Rambo's speaking truth there. I've seen many examples of this. I usually won't report these types of findings in a video, and I wouldn't recommend that style to someone who's presenting gematria to a normie or a newbie. But let me give a couple of examples where a name is considered to be mistyped or misspelled, but yet the numbers line up perfectly. So you might be familiar with a show called The Twilight Zone, Rod Serling, 156 episodes, yada yada yada. Shout out to the Mandela Effect community. They remember Rod Sterling with a T, even Zach. Had a post years ago on his old blog spot, Free to Find Truth. I'll leave a link for that. The title of the post starts out like this, The Twilight Zone, Rod Sterling, with a T. Now you scroll down, he spells it Sterling, but many people remember Sterling. That's a quote-unquote mistake, I guess, a misspelling. But if you use the reverse ordinal cipher of Gematria, Rod Sterling, equals 156. In that same cipher, Twilight Zone equals 156. Some people are going to nitpick. They say, uh, you're, that's a mistyping. You're, it's supposed to be the Twilight Zone, but I don't have time for those people. It's 156 episodes. Twilight Zone equals 156, and the quote-unquote misspelling of Rod Sterling equals 156. Let me give you another example. So this one blew my mind. I was at work. I had synchronicity involved in the number 306. The co-worker and I were confirming some inventory, and we both agreed on 306 for a certain item. And the next thing to be counted ended up being 306 as well. We both thought that was interesting. My co-worker then asks me if I've ever heard of the song 306. It's by an artist known as Emily Autumn. I didn't know that name at the time, and we'll get to that in a minute, but apparently the song was inspired by 306 suicides in a span of six years in a river in France. And I heard the story, and I said, it reminds me of the spooky legend behind the song Gloomy Sunday. And you come to find out the artist who sings the 306 song also does a cover version of Gloomy Sunday. That's a whole new topic. I might do a video on that, Gloomy Sunday, the Hungarian suicide song. But yeah, the same lady, the 306 song. She covered Gloomy Sunday. That was strange to find that out. I'd never heard of this person that I know of. And uh, It was just the topic of suicide that made me think of that Gloomy Sunday song. Anyway... I asked my co-worker what the artist's name was, because at this point I figured I would probably find some kind of 306 in the name. And sure enough, I did, but it turns out I spelt the name wrong. Emily Autumn is not spelled that way. But I just went right to the Gematria. I didn't Google her name or anything. I just typed it in as I thought it was supposed to be spelt. Emily Autumn. And that equals 306 Frank Baconis. Turns out it was Emily with the I-E, but... Just thought it was worth pointing out.